Hello students, hello class. Today we're gonna create this beautiful print of a fish, which uh, is a Japanese art. It is called Gyotaku. And it is how fishermen, when they caught the fish, they would make a print of their fish by inking it. So let's pretend this is a fish that I just caught, it's a live fish and I'm in the old Japan and I'm gonna ink my fish and they carefully inked it in order to first record how big the fish was because they didn't have rulers or on hand or they also wanted to preserve the at the same time not just the length of the fish the width of the fish how it looked like bragging rights and um, to basically very accurately record all the catch that they had so they would they would actually pride themselves and have fishing competitions so this is the way they preserved how their fish looked like and this form started in Japan and then developed into this international art form where now art is making prints out of Gyotaku style of fish printing using live fish or even frozen fish and all kinds of fish they catch. And then even coloring it with uh, different watercolor inks and pigments after they're done making the print and finishing uh, beautiful watercolors and paintings with these. So we are step one is ink your fish. Step two, you're gonna get your paper and carefully lay it over your fish. And this is the tricky part. You wanna lay it and make sure it doesn't move, but at the same time, you want to touch and press down gently so that all the parts that were painted touch the paper so that that print can be carefully made and not to tear your paper, not to press too hard on your paper. And when you think that you touch all the areas, lift your paper off and ta-da! We've got Gyotaku Japanese print just like that. And at that time, you are not going to be done. After that, you get to finish your special, special print by applying with the same brush, little strokes of blades of grass as if the fish was swimming. And creating seaweed and maybe some rocks and finishing the sea life. Maybe even adding a few tiny little fish in the background. And whichever you feel way you feel like finishing. See, I'm barely touching. I'm just doing a style of Chinese brush painting in which I touch the tip of my brush and push down and that will create teardrop kind of designs, very stylistic lines. I can also create bubbles around. And we're, all we're doing is black and white today and that's called monochromatic. And in our next lesson, we're also going to be learning about how to paint Japanese style bamboo trees coming up. And do you see how I'm varying the strokes so it has different colors? Right now, you can go over it just by putting water and not even touching your watercolors anymore. And you can create washes. This is called a wash where I am going gently. I'm now pretending this is water or a stream of 
water rushing through like so I can finish the bubbles with different variations of color or no color at all and just like that just touching my brush or sprinkling a little bit over I will create all these pretty designs to finish our special special watercolor and it's only five minutes and 35 seconds into it and we are done just like that you can take a longer time try your best and I can't wait to see how yours will turn out now is your turn